Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for a new game that I just started to play. Kingdom of Fallen Last Stand. And I'm going to give you guys uh, a couple of things that I saw. Because this is a really strange game in my opinion. Uh, because it seems that the developers didn't say a thing for one year on Discord and on the, on the, the Steam. Uh, I bought the game for 9 euros. And I'm now playing for 10 to 15 minutes. And I need to say I'm having fun at the moment. So the thing is, what I'm going to show you guys here is just a little bit how it looks at the start. So if you want to buy the game that you already know a little bit what is going to happen. So this game is advertised like a survival game with soul-like combat. And after No Rest for the Wicked, I'm a very big fan of this genre. Uh... I never understood why I played so long Path of Exile and Diablo 4, to be honest, because so like is something that I like a lot more than brainless killing enemy after enemy. And this is a little bit to say what they said. So what did I saw in the first 15 to 20 minutes? So you got an entire crafting system because it's a survival game. And what you can see here, it's what always comes back in survival games. You get a stone, you craft a, a hatchet, a pickaxe. And then you can craft some stuff. You can see there is a nice amount of stuff here already, I bet. I think that you can build the house too. So you guys can see it here. There are weapons uh, that you can craft and all that stuff. So here you can click to on other stuff. Here are uh, uh, backpacks that you can get a lot of more. So everything for a survival game is over here. Let's have a look to here. What is this fuel? Not sure what this here are the weapons. There is even a bow here that I see. Uh, here is an arrow, but it's all limited. I'm not sure that we are going to get more because like I said, I'm not sure that the developers are still working on this game, but you can see it here. Here you can equip all your equipment. You got quick slots here too. So everything is here. And unbelievable, in 2024, we got a safe and we can name the safe. Unbelievable. That's so big for me because nowadays they are not doing that anymore. The Most of the developers, they say how we need to play games. And that's something that I don't like. I'm a guy, I'm a YouTuber. We like to save on certain positions, test the positions and make uh, tutorials from it. But th this is very rare that you can just save on a certain moment and reload. That's really good. We got the mage book here too. Not sure what I need to do with this. Here we got uh, an ability. So there has to be somewhere a skill tree. But I didn't find it. So let's have a look. Is it one of the key binds? I don't know. I don't know. Because I didn't find it in the key binds. Maybe a little bit later. At the bottom left you see food and I think drink. Uh, another thing of course. You can see here all the things that are coming back. It was very limited. So I made the character. I had four. Ah, here is the experience. So here you can see it. So there is a leveling system. So it was very limited. So you just start a character. And you can give it four points. In strength, dexterity, stamina, intelligence of fate. Uh, so you can see here what it all does. Because that's really good. I'm really amazed. I didn't expect this to be honest. I thought I'm going to refund this in like 15 minutes because it looks ugly. It seems that they are using the Unreal Engine. So that's not bad. If you see the attributes here, maximum health is here, health regeneration. So everything critical damage. So everything is here. What you need to have in a soul game. Uh, yeah, ARPG a little bit. Uh, so. Yep, that was it, guys. And then you can run around. It looks a lot better than I expected. Of course, Unreal Engine. And you just go around. You get stuff. There is a tutorial, too, uh, that you can follow. You can see now I need to collect stone. So it's very simple. You need to start from the start. Get some stone. Get some wood. Make uh, an axe. Make a pickaxe. And then you can hit trees. And here I'm going to hit the tree. And then something is falling off. You pick it up. That's a survival aspect of this game. But. Yeah. I'm going to play this game a little bit more. I'm going to make right away another tutorial. Let's go here on the mountain. Maybe we can look a little bit further. A map is not here either. <laughs> so. I was looking 
to get the, the map, but the world, you can see it. Here is another one. So you see there a statue. It seems, and there I think there is a boar. You can see it over there. So it's only 9 euros. I'm coming back for you guys. I'm going to play this game because there is something interesting about this game. I thought quality wise it was going to be a lot less. But I need to say graphics okay. Everything is here. It's not bugging and they got the save game. So that was it guys. I'm going to make now a quick tutorial. And I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.